It said that 95% of all decisions are unconscious. Yeah, 95 of our actions and behaviors are done unconsciously. That is insane. So now let's take a look at some of the scary things people have done without even knowing. From a man that killed while sleepwalking to another that left himself creepy cryptic notes. Let's talk about these cases and more only in today's video. But guess who I have with me for this video? What's going on guys? It is me, Joss Bedard. Thanks so much for having me back. I am super excited to be here. I love talking about that scary, creepy stuff. Thank you so much, Joss, for joining me in today's video, and make sure you guys all check out Joss's new channel, Sassy. Now let's get into today's video. This is a list of the top 10 dark things people did unconsciously. Starting off this countdown, we have the TikTok sleepwalker. Chances are, if you're addicted to TikTok, you have stumbled upon this girl's video. Selena Myers, or Selena Spooky Boo on TikTok, is famous for posting videos of her sleepwalking. Welcome back to sleepwalking with me. See, that, that's what we want, we don't understand. I just want to go home, man. According to her, she started sleepwalking when she was only four years old. One time, her mom caught her sleepwalking and asked where she was going. Selena replied with, I'm going to see my mom. Her mom knew she was just sleepwalking and sent her back to bed. But now as an adult, it seems like her sleepwalking has gotten worse. She has done things like gone outside in just her pajamas and returned home without them. But in this one particular video, Selena does some pretty creepy stuff. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally just crawling around laughing maniacally. Other times she has thrown drinks outside on her lawn pretending that she's having a pool party. It's pretty funny but also pretty scary that this happens to her and she has no recollection of any of it. Up next, number nine is sleep driving. Two things that should never be mixed together. A Reddit user shared their story online and explained that they had a strong history of sleepwalking from a very young age and still does to this very age. One sleepwalking incident was extremely bad and they only realized what was going on when they started noticing the gas in their car was disappearing. They were keeping a close eye on it at that time just due to financial struggles so the gas meter moving was more obvious to them during that time they thought it might have been their roommates using their car and then just lying to them about it but turns out it was actually them the entire time they were sleep driving the user explained that they went to bed one night just normally and woke up in the driver's seat of their car with the car running and the radio turned on they explained they had no idea where they drove to how long they drove for, or if they were just parked in their driveway in the car all night. How scary and dangerous is that? Not only for them, but for everyone else around them on the road. If I knew my roommate had like a sleepwalking history, I think I would take their keys and hide them. Probably a good idea. Coming in at number eight, we have The Intruder. So back in the day, Reddit user Bradberry1920 posted a question on the forum legal advice. Basically, he would wake up and find post-it notes all over his apartment in handwriting that wasn't his. He was scared that someone was breaking in and leaving him creepy notes. For example, one time he woke up to a post-it note saying, our landlord isn't letting me talk to you but it's important we do. So that's when he checked his webcam footage on his computer, but the video files had been deleted. So he was certain that someone had been in his house, left this message, then saw the webcam and deleted the files. That's when an engineer named Ken Roach solved the mystery. Everyone thought maybe Brad was just sleepwalking and leaving himself these notes, but no, it was something more serious. Ken figured Brad was hallucinating due to carbon monoxide in his house. Turns out he was right. Brad got all that checked and he was being poisoned by carbon monoxide. So he was unconsciously writing himself these notes 
while hallucinating from the carbon monoxide. Moving on to number seven, we have homicidal sleepwalking. This one is a story about Antonio Nito, a man who committed murder while he was allegedly sleeping. There is a huge controversy around the subject of sleepwalking and committing crimes, but he's just another example that it may in fact be real. Antonio murdered his wife, mother-in-law, and injured his two children. He claimed that he was asleep and dreaming of fighting off ostriches, but both children confirmed that he actually recognized them during his sleep. They said he even told them that their mother was sleeping in the other room, even though he had severely injured her already. So it's hard to say whether this was truly a case of sleepwalking or not, but there have been so many similar cases to this one that it has caused a ton of controversy on whether or not people can really be deeply asleep while committing these crimes. Anyways, I'm sure people have tested this theory and there's some scientific proof or not proof behind it, but yeah, that's a hard thing to really believe, you know? Moving on to number six, we have the outbursts. So this story was posted on Reddit by the user Megatron Murderer. According to him, when he was younger, he would randomly freak out for no reason. For example, he would be with his family eating dinner when all of a sudden he would start throwing his cutlery and cursing and yelling. What's scary is that he would have no memory of these outbursts. It got so bad that his mom was convinced that he was actually possessed. I mean, one second he would be fine, and the next he would just snap. Well, turns out he actually had a cyst below the arachnoid on his left temporal lobe. The cyst was the size of a baseball and impacting his brain function. And that's the real reason why he had these freakouts and couldn't remember a single one of them. Thankfully, he did have surgery to remove the cyst. In fact, when they found the cyst, the doctor said he would have passed away within a week from internal bleeding if they didn't find it when they did. Wow. Back to you, Joss. Halfway through our list, at number five is the case of wandering dangerously. A woman named Emma Walton shared her story and said that she has been a sleepwalker her whole life. When she was in university, she always had to lock her windows and doors at night because she would often find herself wandering and sometimes it got very dangerous. But even though she locked the windows before bed, that didn't always help her. She explained a horrific story of one time she started to wander while she was sleeping and managed to open her window. The worst part was her window was one of the ones that swing open and she happened to swing it all the way open one night and was holding on to it practically hanging completely out the window. Luckily she was okay but she ended up having to lock other windows and doors in her building hallway so that she couldn't get out at night. Like that's crazy. In our fourth spot, we have the shrine. Okay, this next story literally gave me chills. So this story was shared on Reddit by the user, the real Miss Nesbitt. When she was younger, her and her family moved into this big farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. But sadly, after a few months of staying there, the landlord randomly evicted them. Anyways, one day they were packing when her uncle asked if they had anything in the attic. They had never really been up there, but the uncle decided to check anyways. And that's when he found something quite disturbing. Now, now the entrance to the attic was through the Reddit user's bedroom. When they went up there, they found her favorite Cabbage Patch doll hanging from her neck from the ceiling. There were burn marks all over the floor and some candle wax. It looked like somebody was conducting a seance with the doll. The family believes that she was doing it unconsciously. Either that or the house is possessed or that landlord is up to no good. In our third spot is murder on accident. This is not another murder story of a sleepwalker, but this is a story of a roommate who feared that their roommate would do this to them while they were asleep. A man named Peter Langdon shared that one of his roommates was convinced that he would kill him in his sleep due to his sleepwalking history. His sleepwalking was very intense. He once found himself on a ledge on the first floor of his apartment chasing a thief who did not exist. <sighs> Imagine that. Because of this incident, his roommate slept with a knife under his pillow because he was convinced that he could kill him during the night and just not know it because obviously he is hallucinating or dreaming so intensely. Peter said that he never took medication for his sleepwalking and that is something that he's just always lived with, which was also more concerning for the people around him because obviously for an issue like that, you might want them to be medicated if you're gonna live with them. That'd be terrifying. I once lived, I was dating someone and I lived with them and they had night terrors where they would wake up in the middle of the night just screaming, saying that they were seeing something at the end of our bed. It was terrifying. In our 
second spot, we have the sleepwalking murder. This case was actually one that I studied back in law class. Basically, it revolves around Kenneth Parks, a Canadian man who in 1987 killed his mother-in-law while sleepwalking. Yeah, he was totally unaware of what he had done. So basically, on that night, he woke up from bed, drove 14 miles to her house, and then took his mother-in-law's life. He drove all the way there unconsciously. He also attacked his father-in-law, but he managed to survive. He woke up and saw what he had done and drove right to the police station. And after a number of trials, he was acquitted of the murder because it was ruled out he was sleepwalking at the time of the incident and was completely unaware of his actions which is super terrifying. Winning the number one spot is the deadly bathtub. Luckily, this ending is not as gruesome as it sounds, but it could have been, and that was the very scary part. The story was shared by a woman named Eleanor who explained that she could have died and no one would have found her until the next morning. That sentence alone honestly sounds like a horror movie. It's so disturbing. Eleanor said she started sleepwalking when she was just eight years old and things started getting worse and more dangerous as she got older. She told this story about a time when she was 21 years old and was home alone. She woke up at 3 a.m. in the bathtub full of water with a razor in her hand. She actually had shaved the bottom half of her left leg, but she did not cut herself, luckily. So it could have been a lot worse, like a lot worse. Following day, she remembered what she was dreaming about and said she was dreaming that she was getting ready for a night out. When she woke up in the bathtub, she said she was hyperventilating and having a panic attack and was scared out of her mind, as anyone would be. That could have been so bad. It's like a relief off my shoulders. I'm just glad she's okay. All right, that's all for today's video. Let's move quickly along to our comment shout out portion. We'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 YouTubers that quit in 2020. It was the other collab that we did together. AA says, do you ever see a comment and think, wish I had written that? Yes, in my videos all the time. When I see comments, I'm like, man, I wish I thought of that joke, you know, that clever one-liner all the time. Justin Cameron commented, amazing top 10 family roll call. All wings report in. Lindsay, here present. Not Guest Infinite says a random person approved of this video. Well, I am glad. Thank you for your approval, random person. Fluffy Pink Chaos commented, can I get a shout out to my mom, Kathy? Tomorrow's her birthday. Sorry, I know it's a little late, but happy belated birthday to Kathy. There you go. All right, guys, that's all the comments we're shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. I was Joss Bernard. Thanks so much for having me back here. If you come and say hi to me on Sassy, make sure that MA sent you. I would love to see you guys over here. Thanks for having me again. Bye. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys.